Pat Cox, the great motivator, <laughs> a great friend who enthused everybody who worked with him. Pat Cox is living proof that politics don't have to be miserable, <laughs> that institutions don't have to be boring, and that debates don't have to be harsh and unpleasant. And Pat, you performed a wonderful service for this House. But my career as Secretary General started with a German president and finished with a German <laughs> president. Klaus Hensch was my mentor, who set the highest standards of integrity that can be expected in public life and was the great reformer. You, President, have made a brilliant start to your presidency and you bring unique experience to this office. Two Germans from two different political parties. Well, two fairly different political <laughs> parties. Took me light, Martin. <laughs> but united in the defense of Europe and in the defense of the rights of the European Parliament. All these presidents that I have served have distinguished themselves by the quality of the political leadership of this House. And in thanking them, I also thank the members of the Parliament, the members of this House, who have carried this institution forward. And if you compare this institution in 1973, when Harold and I joined, and the central role that it plays, it is due to the engagement and commitment of the presidents of this House and the parliamentarians who make it up. Britain has only a European destiny. I believe that Europe can also benefit from British participation in the project. I do not know exactly, and I think no one knows exactly, how the next few months and years are going to work out in terms of taking that project forward. And we had a remarkable speech from Giorgio Napolitano today on that subject. What I am sure of is that there will come a day when there's a moment of decision and definition for Britain. What form, on what question, how we do it, exactly when, I do not know. But it would be, for me, the repudiation of 34 years' work. The repudiation of the day when I went to Oxford and set up the Oxford Committee for Europe in 1969. A repudiation of my father who organized the referendum campaign in the southwest of England in 1975. I am not going to sit back and watch my country distance itself from the great project of our time, the one project which is capable of restoring faith in politics in, in Europe and beyond. So therefore, I will be active. <laughs> I, <laughs> but I will not stand by. Ich stehe hier, ich kann nicht anders. <laughs> so, Hans Gerd, colleagues, friends, you've given me so much. You've given me so much support, so much friendship. Vive l'Europe, vive le Parlement européen. Merci. <laughs> <laughs>